Let's go. I'm gonna. Right now, there's not. You're not gonna see any action, but you will in <laughs> very shortly. I'm just gonna run through this town, see if I can pick up more quests. I don't just on the left hand side though. It says near by party info. Is that like yes. someone trying to get a group started? Uh, no, I could get. I could join them or request to join them if I want okay. to. But like, see, right now I hovered over that. This guy's level 83. Uh, another guy's level 72, <laughs> and this other yeah. guy's level 44. So, like for example, this is a level 44 barbarian. He didn't start out as a barbarian. He started out as a swordsman, and then he evolved into the barbarian class. But you don't have to choose barbarian. Like a swordsman can become a knight. You could you become can a barbarian. Out, yeah. You could become yeah, exactly. So, but anyway, those guys are a lot more, a lot higher than I am. All right, so let's see. I'm just gonna run around the town real quick. This town, the map is completely available because it's a town. But when you go into a, you know, a hostile area like a, another area, you have to fill in the map as you go through it, just like the album. Right. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Bokor Master's home. Okay, babe. I love you. The visuals look pretty decent. Oh, they're they're really cool. Yeah. All right, what is this? Bokor Master. All right, Bokor is a skill, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, not a skill, a class. Many... Um, Bokor summons zombies. Yeah, I don't have any reason to be in this house. This is for the Bokor class. <clears throat> I have to go, ch go to the wizard's house, the wizard master. Okay, here we go. So are you looking to become like a, a pure beige sort of class? I don't know yet. Honestly, I'm just don't know. Take it as it comes. Yeah. yeah. All right. This is the companion trader, Christina. Welcome. You're looking for a travel companion, right? Oh, I can. I can get a pet right here. You won't find a better place for partners here. Adopt companion. Buy items for companion. Train companion. Benefit. Okay. So let's try to adopt it. Oh my God. Look how much they are? How much gold do I have? Oh, I have 1,686. The cheapest one is 110,000. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Forget that. I'm not getting a companion yet. Okay. Well, that's something to work towards, isn't it? Yeah. The shop system. Okay. So here's yeah here's an accessory merchant. Okay. I could actually afford another bangle here, but no, I'm not gonna buy anything yet. Um, equipment merchant. Weapons, armor. Let's see what weapons he has. So, this is free to play, yeah? Yes. Do they have any kind of, like, uh, payment system? Is, is there, like, a, a, a premium currency where you can. I don't know, actually. I'm I mean, typically sure. they don't, yeah, because um, usually they don't put that sort of stuff in beta, so it's hard yeah. for people to judge, but. Uh, yeah. Oh, I got uh, these gems. Gem is like uh, something that you socket into your items. Um, but I don't know. I thought I got them, but I don't see them anywhere in my inventory. Putting gems into items. What a novel idea. Yeah. Alright, well, hold on. I'm not going to buy anything yet. This is... Alright, item merchant. Socket. Yeah, you can socket different things. Help a cleric out. What the? Okay. Highlander Master's Training Hall. Wow, look at all the people here. Got a little bit laggy here. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Alright, here's the Wizard Master. I have to talk to her anyway. No matter how much magic talent you have, it all goes to waste unless you actively train it. Learn Wizard Attributes. You come to the right place. Attributes can gain additional abilities to stats and skills. You can learn attributes from each class master by paying them silver. Listen to the explanation about attributes. Okay. Make your character stronger um, by talking to the master NPCs of each class. Okay. Looks so like let's do this. So trading as well. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Learn attributes. Oh, all right. Yeah. Look. So my attributes are down here. Right now I have cloth mastery magic. It's a passive skill. It enables me to equip cloth armor. I started out with that. 
when equipped with three or more pieces of cloth armor, increases your maximum SP and magic damage taken is decreased by 5%. When equipped with four cloth armor pieces, your magic defense increases and your magic damage taken is decreased by an additional 10%. That's what I started off with. Leather mastery, dexterity, I have uh, leather armor, that's level 1, and then plate mastery. And it was to equip plate armor, that's level 1. So, she can... Okay, wizard second circle required. I can't do weapon swap. You can change weapons. Wait, let me check this to show only ones that I are that are available to be learned. Okay, here we go. Um, cloth mastery level two, leather mastery level two, plate mastery level two, energy bolt enhance level one increases the damage dealt on an enemy with energy bolt by one percent per attribute level. Wow, this is crazy. Energy Bolt Additional Sleep Deals additional damage equal to 50% magic attack per attribute level when attacking an enemy under sleep with Energy Bolt. Okay, so I have a skill called Sleep. I can put an enemy to sleep and then hit him with an Energy Bolt and it does 50% more damage if I have that attribute. Wow, okay. Yeah, because I'm vulnerable. Lethargy Additional Damage. Enemies affected by Lethargy will receive 20% additional damage with Strike Attacks. And then Earthquake Enhance. Okay, so a thousand. S I can only afford one of these because I only have 1686. So okay, I could either use my funds to increase my attributes or buy items. It's all the same funds. Hmm. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is get this additional sleep energy bolt enhancement because I have sleep. So that'll be good on bosses. I think I could put them. I could see if I could cast sleep on them and then just throw an energy bolt at just him because it's single get, target. Just get that first damage in, yeah. Exactly, and that's only actually 560 silver. I actually could get this and something else because I have 1686. 12 so. minutes required. 12 yeah. minutes. Oh, okay, in 12 minutes I'll get it. And then other ones are learned immediately. Yeah. Okay, so let me I get kinda this one. I kind of like that. This is really cool, I'm telling you. Yeah, 12 minutes left. Okay, learning attribute. Nice. It's not like you just, oh, I've instantly automatically mastered this exactly. now. Had, it actually simulates you have, having to learn the skill. Yeah, I can't wait until you see me fight and go into an area. I, as soon as we leave this town, I, I don't think I it have does, to It do does it. look pretty good. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually quite um, interested in this. I, I like games with lots of customization like this and sets lots of goals for you to work towards. Exactly, and there's because like... Because it encourages you to come back. Exactly, and there's like interlock... Like that skill that I just learned. Like I have to cast sleep first, then my skill for it to for it to proc. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. look at this. I can't learn any other skills right now because I I have to... I'm learning this one. I should have got the uh, learn immediately one first and then this. It's it's not like you can read <laughs> yeah. four or five books at the same time right. in real life. So okay, why so would it be any different? Yeah, that's really all right, good. So I'm learning that. Oh, well, I'll come back then to learn the other one and then I might have more so money then. can you go and do something else while you're learning that or do you have to just sit in town? Whoops. Oh, no, I could probably go do something else. I'm not sure. This is the first time I've ever done it. I ran into the Pyromancer's master. Oh, Pyromancer! That's what I can become. Hold on, wait. Let's see if she... Let's me. Yeah, you want to set everything on fire. I actually do want to be a pyromancer because that's the DPS wizard. Like, there's a cryomancer, which is more like a CC class. I was gonna say that would probably be crowd Yeah, control. I wanna, I wanna be pyro. Let's see, fire is a grace sent to us by the goddess Gabija. You won't become a great pyromancer if you don't acknowledge wow. that. Is that enough candles? Yeah, really. <laughs> um, pyrite, 80, 80 silver. What is pyrite? A stone containing the condensed power of flame purchasable from the Pyromancer Master. I wonder if I use that, I become a Pyromancer. Let's see. Can I purchase it like this? How do I purchase it? Items. Oh, I drag it down here maybe? No. Oh, there we go. I right click it. Okay. Confirm. Alright, I got it. Pyrite. Adventure journal updated. You have an advent adventure journal too, which is basically acts as like a bestiary. Every new enemy you kill will add to it. And then you, you also can. Here, let me open it and see. Um, where's my journal? Adventure journal. Here we go. Whoa. Um, wizard. Necrover. What the heck's a Necrover? Item monster crafting mask hunter. Aqua killer. Oh, that's Team Battle League. I don't know what that's about. Join Team Battle League. Um, yeah, here's all the items. Here's the bestiary, the monster, crafting, maps. 
Um, it'll tell you how much of a map you've explored as well, which is pretty cool. I cleared 15 quests already, 57 NPCs met. Okay, alright, let me get out of all this. Um, let me use that item and see what happens now. Where is it? Here it is. A stone containing a condensed power of flame. Oh, I can't use it. It's a, it's a material. Pyrite. Maybe you use it to enhance something that a flame wizard would use. I don't know. I have no clue. Alright, let me get out of here. I want to go back to, like, fight and stuff and go to the next area. I think I'm done in this town. I have to just go talk to one other person in this town. And let me see here. Yeah, there's a person right up in the top. Alright, let me go. Go down here. Go complete this quest. I think it was a quest I had to complete just by talking to this dude. He'll probably give me another one. Oh, and then there's goddess statues all throughout the game world. When you worship a goddess statue. Oh, alright. You can travel. Okay. Oh, I can't travel anywhere here because I didn't unlock any other goddess statues. But they kind of work as like fast travels, I guess. Yeah, if I'm going to warp to the woods, it would be 10 silver. Okay, and then other things actually give you like bonuses or do certain things. Like goddess statues do do different things depending on the statue that it is. Um, like one I worshipped and it uh, spawned the boss and I had to kill the boss. And another one, I went back and I worshipped it again after I got a side quest from somebody and then he gave me an experience card. So, the kingdom has lost all hope. But does not have any will to stand firm anymore. It's just caring for the goddesses in recent times. However, people have come forward saying they dreamed of the goddesses who are one such person revelator. Anyway, the bishop himself has also had a dream while praying in closure. The crystal mine. Go meet him. Okay. I'll go to the eastern woods. Alright. Four years has passed since that incident. We stand as an only hope. Eastern woods before you leave. Be sure to drop by the item merchant. I left some warp scrolls. Oh, okay. Let me go to the item merchant. Pick up some warp scrolls from them. Where's the item merchant? Pyromancer's lab. I think the item merchant was down here. Yeah, you can become like a Highlander. You can become... Um, like there's clerics. There's, there's all kinds of crazy classes you can... Here we go. May I help you? Uh, miscellaneous items. Warp scroll. I'm supposed to get a warp scroll for free. I'm not paying 5,000 for a warp scroll. <laughs> no, forget that. And what is this? Eye Queen Shop. What is this Eye Queen Shop? Shovel, price 555. Five, five. Is this like the currency? I was just about to say it. Eye Queen sounds like the currency. premium currency. Yeah. Because you only have five of them, and that's pro. Well, actually, you Status have four. Status reset them. scroll, close beta test purposes. Skill reset scroll. Alright. I'm not going to do any of that right now. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Anything else on the map that I have to... No. Okay, so I'm supposed to go into the eastern woods, right? Which would be... Yeah, look at all these masters. Oracle Master, Archer Master, Crivis Master, Quarrel Shooter Master, Swordsman Master, Priest Master, Cleric Master, Ranger Master, Patalsta Master, whatever, Wizard Master, Cryo Master Master. Cryo mas Mancer Master. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me go back to this goddess statue and see if I can get into where I'm supposed to go now. Oh, Warehouse Keeper. This is my stash, I bet. Yep, it's my stash. Personal storage. Okay. And actually, I have to sell... Hold on. I have to sell a bunch of items. I have swords and bows and stuff that I'm not going to use that I picked up along the way just now. Can I sell them to the item merchant? Yeah, I can sell. Right? I'm right clicking and it, they're getting check marks on them. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, yep, items sold. Yep, okay. And then accessories here. I only need one accessory. I can wear a, like a little keepo on my head. I'll show you in one second. Um, okay, sell all that. Nice. Okay, so you see my character here. <laughs> I put a little thing on my head, now you'll see it in the stream in one second. 
I put a little uh, keepa doll on my head, like a hat, which I'm obviously not going to keep on my head. <laughs> yeah, you see that? <laughs> it's like it's got a turnip growing out yeah, of it. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I'm going to take that back off. I don't want that. Alright. Does that even do anything? No, or it's, just, it's just cosmetic. cosmetic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, let's go back to this. So, how much inventory space do you have then? Because I, I just saw you sell your bits and pieces. Is yeah, that a limit? I don't know. It's just, it might be unlimited because... It might just auto-expand. It doesn't have slots. Exactly. And then eventually tell you if you're carrying too much. Well, actually, didn't you say there was a carry weight stack? There is a carry weight. Yep, yeah, that's what it, that's what limits so it. So, yeah, it you, might, you'll it might be like down. Witcher then. Exactly. Where you can have an unlimited amount of items, but it's all... They, right. they all have like, like the, a set weight. The, and fighter, hit that the, limit, then, the yeah. barbarian is probably going to be able to carry more than like the wizard. Exactly. That makes sense because the strength attribute might give like a bonus to that. Yeah. Exactly. It does. Strength, if you're strength increases your carry weight. Yep. Puny little twiggy wizard, exactly. then you'll probably be able to Wait, only carry half as much. Slahido Woods, that's where I came from. Where the heck do I go here? <laughs> Oh wait, I do have to go back to the item merchant. There's a gold check mark there. Gold check marks are quest things. Hold on. I want you to see like action here. You you joined in right as soon as I got to the town hub. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, hold on. The combat is so smooth. It's awesome. You can jump too, by the way. You can like jump to avoid uh, shaking and stuff. I'll be honest. One of the main things that usually does turn me off. Games He's like this, yeah. these like these Asian sort of uh, ARPGs and RPGs, is the very rigid two-dimensional combat. It's very good. Okay, I just got the warp scrolls from the item merchant, and now she told me to go to the accessory merchant, which is right over here. Like okay, this. she's gonna give me a wooden bangle. Nice. I needed that because I don't have a bangle on my other arm. So let's put the bangle on. Awesome. Okay. Very good. And now I have another quest over here. Okay. This is probably where I need to go now to leave the town. Equipment repair. Ah. Repair it with the blacksmith. Okay. I'm not going to repair anything yet. Here we go. East Salua Woods. Alright. Salua High Woods or whatever. Okay. Here we go. Starting the next part of the game. <laughs> The music is really good too. 